Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is John from Programming Knowledge. And in this video guys, we're going to be learning how to use React to create an Amazon clone. And as you can see here, we have an Amazon clone built with React.js. And there's a lot of features that we can find here, though not that comparable to the real Amazon site. But as you can see, this is a functional website and this is built 100% with React.js. And here we have the header, which um, we can see that there is a search bar. We have here the buttons or links for signing in the orders and um, for the cart or the basket. And also we have here the banner for the Amazon website. And also we have here the display of products available to purchase. And in this case, I just use this particular image for the demonstration of products displayed on this particular website. But of course you can change this. You want, uh, if you want to, you know, make use of different images for different products, you can use that. And also you can change also the prices of the products displayed inside this um, page now in this particular project you can click on the yellow button for adding items to the basket so for example this one add the basket so the number will incre increment or will be added um, the item will be added to the basket so for example this one seven and it become eight and um, you can also click on that particular basket and you can see all the items that has been added to the basket and you can see here the subtotal or the total of all the um, products the prices and we also have um, some sort of uh, ads here as you can see and of course guys uh, we'll be using firebase for this particular project um, especially for uh, signing in and sign, um, signing up so we can sign in by using our email and password so in this particular form we could um, sign in and also um, create our own uh, account to this particular clone website so as I've said guys this is an Amazon clone we're gonna be using react to build this particular clone and also we're gonna be using Firebase for our uh, database so if you're excited um, we can start right away and get ready for um, building this particular Amazon clone by using react.js and firebase database so here we are guys we're going to start with our Amazon clone uh, video tutorial series and I hope you're excited as I am to uh, learn something new and of course to have a working uh, Amazon clone at the end of this video tutorial series so first off let's try to um, create a new project for our uh, video tutorial series and of course we're going to open up our folder um, so for example uh, let's open terminal first and let us see so I'm currently at um, users and then admin so I would like to I'd like to uh, add my project here um, documents where is it react js and of course uh, here inside this particular react js folder so it's going to open up this particular folder and then I have here all the working project or react JS projects so I'm just going to close this so currently we're here at users admin documents and of course react JS folder or directory so we're going to create our own project right here by using the command NP um, NPX create react app 
and then of course the name of our Amazon clone for example let's just name this um, Amazon clone app okay and then press enter and let's just wait for a few seconds because it's going to set up all the necessary files inside our Amazon clone app project so uh, the duration will be dependent on your machine the speed of your machine and of course um, the speed of your internet connection because it has dependencies to download okay so there you go we already have our project running or I mean project created uh, by using the command npx create react app and then of course the name of our uh, project which is Amazon clone app so from this we can try to remove the unnecessary, unnecessary files that we have here let's try to open up this Amazon clone app project and as you can see here and actually we can open this uh, folder instead of viewing all the projects that we have here so Amazon clone up and then click on select folder this will open up our uh, Amazon clone app project itself and not the react.js directory that holds all the projects so here uh, I will have to remove um, files that um, I think not necessary for our project right here so first off, I'm going to remove the logo, uh, delete this, and um, I'm going to delete app test.js because we're, we're not going to do testing. And um, what else? Set up test. Let's remove that. Okay. And then inside our app.css folder, uh, for now, let's remove all this unnecessary styles. We're going to build our our clone app from the scratch. So first off, I'm going to replace all the necessary, or I mean, all the default styles that we have here. So I'm just going to add this this asterisk and then open and close curly braces, and then I'm gonna remove the margin because by default um, the HTML or the default setup will add you know random margins be uh, between all elements so that's why we're targeting all elements and then trying to remove the margin setting it to zero now for our app.js um, app.js we have here added the logo so I'm just going to remove this we're, we're not gonna need that also this okay and um, we can also remove this also header okay and also this particular element so save and in our index.js file Okay, so we have here the root element. Okay, so app.js, remove the import of logo, save, um, what else? Index.css. Um, we can make changes or few changes here. So for example, the background instead of, instead of uh, having a default background, we're going to use a certain background color so bgc and then specify the rgb value so 234 237 237 okay save and let's try uh, let's try to run our app for now so so npm start and hopefully uh, it will run successfully without complications okay so we're doing this all live and 
we have here the output of our program it's running on port 3000 localhost so we'll just wait for a few seconds to load basically there's a lot of a lot of components so as you can see here we have an empty project as we um, remove mostly the the components from our app so we only have this as the app name right there and I'm in the app and then the class name and of course for our index.js uh, index.js here we only have this root and of course if we want to add something to our to our what do you call this app we just need to for example add here an element so h1 and then hello world hello amazon clone save and it should refresh uh, there you go hello world hello amazon clone so you have successfully created your project if you are seeing this particular lines now first off uh, this particular clone uh, we're doing the CSS custom CSS for our components and we have different components and we will apply different CSS or styling for our components so for example we have um, the login the sign up uh, form so I have already shown you the output of this particular uh, video tutorial series so for now let's work with our um, app.js file okay uh, app.js file and before we proceed let's try to add the dependencies for our project so that in the next uh, video tutorial, we will uh, try to, uh, what they call this, continue um, creating the components, applying the CSS, and other functionalities that we need for our, for our project. So in this particular clone, we need the material UI. We're, we're going to use the material UI for that. So what we can do, let's try to install first the material UI. So that will be npm install and then add material UI slash core. Okay, and press enter. So again, in this particular video or video tutorial series, we're going to be using react.js. As, uh, as you can see here, we already have um, created the project and we're going to be using MySQL, uh, I mean Firebase database, spe uh, especially the um, authentication, and of course we're using or we're gonna be using the Material UI for our um, components. So after that, we're going to use or install also the Material UI icons. We're going to need that. And we'll be using or we'll be installing Firebase also. So in this particular video, guys, we're just setting up our project. And then later on, we, 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 we can continue working with our components. So we're just going to wait for a few seconds. Okay, so there you go. We have already installed the material UI icons. We will try to install also the Firebase. So npm install Firebase. Okay, so there you go. We have installed the Firebase. And also we're going to be needing the react um, 
react currency for um format so this will be for for formatting the currency inside our clone or amazon clone app so that will be react currency format and then also we're going to be needing the react dom and react router dom so actually we can uh, install it all at once but for the sake of simplicity we'll just try to install it one by one so you so you can follow along with this tutorial so react dom Okay, so that's React DOM, and then we also have React Router DOM. Okay, so this will be for the functionalities inside our application or the Amazon clone app. So we're going to be using the React Router DOM uh, in order to switch between pages or between interface or between components within our Amazon clone app. So this is all for the setup for our Amazon clone app. So please bear with me. But in the next tutorial, we'll be uh, adding more components to our to our app because as you can see now, this is just a basic and boring app actually. So hello world and hello Amazon clone app. So if you are excited to learn more and to have a working Amazon clone app, uh, by using react.js you can follow along with this tutorial and also if you are new here in our youtube channel programming knowledge please subscribe and press the notification bell so you'll get updated whenever we have a new uploads we have different uploads we have a uh, different programming language we have java android visual basic java effects react tutorials uh, um, we cover almost uh, every technology in our video tutorial so you can follow along you can subscribe to our youtube channel and again guys thank you for supporting our youtube channel and thank you for watching the video we're gonna be uh learning a lot in the next video tutorial for this particular video tutorial series so thank you again for watching and see you in the next video